One of my favorite parts of high level is custom values. For developers, it's a very simple thing to use, but for clients, it's often very difficult and frustrating for them to enter their information. Asking them to enter their colors using hex codes or having them enter the link to a file they just uploaded into their media storage can be very confusing and daunting. Custom values can be used for anything from basic content information, logos, colors, or anything that you need for content. But the thing is, we want to make it easy for the clients to add their information. GHL Plugins has made this easy by creating a form system that allows them to do things like upload images, pick out colors, enter text, and even use AI prompts so they can easily create content using ChatGPT in a very simple user interface. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build these amazing forms and how to implement them for your clients. Let's get started. To get this tutorial started, I have already pre-built a funnel and the custom values that work with it so that I can make it easy to show you exactly how this works. The first area I want to go to is the custom values. I'll click on settings here on the bottom left hand side and then I'll go to custom values right here. And as you can see, I already have all these custom values built. I actually have four pages of them. I'm going to click on this drop down so I can show you all of them at once. These go from everything from the primary color of the funnel, the secondary color of the funnel, some business information, the Facebook page, all the information about the lead magnet that we're going to be building out, my bio, bio information, email, the logo I'll be using, my picture, and my name, and a YouTube link. All this is going to be used within the funnel that has already been pre-built. If I click the go back right here on the left-hand side and go into the funnel, right here we have lead magnet for the form. If I click that, we have three pages, the lead magnet page, a thank you page where we can request an appointment and an appointment book page. When I click on edit, you'll notice something immediately. The custom value areas are already added into these sections. It's very simple to add these custom values to any page. All I need to do is hit the plus sign right over here and choose basically anything. I'll just show you how I made the headline that you already see here. I click on headline, I select the whole thing, and right here we have the custom value box. So that will normally be closed. In this case, it happens to be open, but normally it'll be closed and you just click that button right there. And then you would put in the information that you're looking for. In this case, I'll do lead magnet name. By doing that, the lead magnet name is gonna come up. I'll click that and it's gonna change the whole thing. And from there, I can colorize it, give it the right font and so forth. But I've already created that up here, so I'm just gonna delete that. Then what I'll do is I will change the image here and this is a file. So you can add those areas to the file areas by going and clicking on the image, scrolling down on the right hand side and entering in that information from the field right over here. You just copy and paste from your values and stick it right there. And that's how you add the information to the funnel. In this next part, I'm gonna show you how to build the form to add all these custom values to your funnel. Before we start building out the form though, there is one more step. I'm going to need to go to OpenAI and get an API key so that I can use AI in this form to build some of the content. In order to do that, all I need to do is go to Google, type in OpenAI key, just like this, and go to OpenAI platform. This is the link that you want to go to. Now, of course, you're going to need to log in. And if you haven't had a paid version of this, you're going to need to pay and create an account. But from the API keys, you'll create a new secret key. You'll type in the name of this key. I'm just going to call it GHL plugins example, and then hit create secret key. And then I'll copy the key. And I want to make sure I put this in a safe place because once it's shown, that's the only time you'll never be able to get it again. So copy it and put it in a safe place. Now we can actually start building out the form. From the GHL plugins dashboard, what you'll do is you'll go to integrations, click on integrations and go to custom values form. And then you'll add the location that you'll be building this in. I'm going to type in design client because that's the one I use for my examples. 
and it'll load right here. I'll click right on it. And in the top right hand corner, I'll click on new form. The first field that I can use is the form that is a description. This is a description of what the form is about. We use this form to build out our lead magnet. After that, I'm going to name the form. It's going to be the lead magnet content form. And we arrive at our first page description. Now the first page description is right over here. So we can have multiple pages in this form. I'll name it. This will just be page one, very simple. And I can name it something like uh, your text, uh, your bio information. It doesn't have to be step one, step two, step three. It can be whatever you want it to be. It really helps to give context of what that page is about in that form. But in this case, I'm just gonna do page one. And here is the information for the lead magnet. I'll scroll down and I'll start adding my custom values. If I click on this drop down right here, I see all my different custom values imported immediately into GHL plugins. I'm going to start off with my name. And from my name, it's just a regular text input field. I can add a prefix, a suffix, or a description. In this case, I don't need to. I'm just going to hit close. After that, I'm going to add a new field. From there, I'll click on the drop down again. I'll put in my business name. And then I can just keep adding fields. The next one I want to do is my primary and secondary colors. I'll click the drop down. I'm going to go to my primary color. And the input type here is not going to be text. In this case, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to choose the color picker. This way I can add the hex code very easily inside of the form. I'll hit the add field again. I'll choose secondary color, again, color picker, scroll down here, and then move on to my next field. I'll just go back to my funnel and see what is the next area that I need to add. So over here, I have my logo, right over here. As you can see, that's an image field. So I'm gonna go back over here, and let's just say you have a very, very long list, and it could take a long time to do this. You can just type in logo and it'll pop right up. I'll click in logo, and this one is a file picker. I'll click the drop down, and this is gonna give me the ability to upload a file. I'll click add field again, and go back to my funnel again. Next, I'll do the lead magnet name. I'll just type in name, and there you see it right there, lead magnet name. And I'm gonna just keep going in and out, back and forth between my funnel and this page. Next, I'll choose the headline. I'll click Add Field, type in Headline, add the field again, and in this case, I'm going to add something a little different. I'm going to add the description, but the description is going to be built by AI. So I'm going to click on the drop down and choose AI. And the custom value that will pull in that description is right here. I just click on the drop down, and I'm going to use the headline, which is the one that was above it. I'm also going to use the name of the lead magnet. So I'll go right to the front. I'll open this up. I'll scroll down or search for the name. And then I'll write a very simple prompt. What I've written as my prompt is actually pretty simple, and you can get as detailed as you like. But for this example, I just used, I need a simple description for a lead magnet called, and then I have the custom value that has the headline, and then I have the other custom value. Please only make this two sentences long. And now I'm going to move on to all the other parts of this funnel page. I'll click on add field again. And now I want to build out the features. They're right over here on the page. I feature one, feature two, and feature three. I'll choose feature one, and that's simple text. I'll add a field. I'll choose feature one again, but this time the description, which is the content, I'll choose AI. I'll choose add custom value, lead magnet feature one, and I'll just type in something very simple. I'll use the custom value of lead magnet feature one is a feature of my lead magnet. Please write a one sentence description 
of this feature. And then I'm going to repeat this process for the other two features. I'll click on Add Field, type in Feature again, number two, just a text field, Add to, drop it. I'll type in Feature again, choose AI all the way at the bottom. And to make it simple, I'm just gonna copy this, paste it right in here, and I can just change this to two. Then I'll add a field again and do number three. Next, I'll go back to my funnel and I wanna add in my bio information and my image. I'll add a field, I'll type in bio, and then I'll add the field again and I'll put in my image. And this again will be a file upload. Now I also have two other pages to this funnel. So I'll click back, I'll click on my drop down. The thank you page, I've already used this custom value, so I can just move on to the book page. On the book page, I have these three links. I've got a contact area, a YouTube channel link that I want to add, and my Facebook page. So I just need to add those fields to my form. I'll click here. I'll click add a field. I'll type in email. I'll add another field. I'll type in YouTube. I'll add one final field for Facebook. And finally, I'll save it. Now I could have added extra pages, but this is a pretty simple form, so I think I'm fine with just the one. And my form is built. Next, I'll X out of the form. And then I'm gonna click on the Open AI key here. Now you'll grab the key from where you saved it earlier and just paste it right here and click Save. And then hit the X right here in the top right. I almost forgot I need to add the lead magnet image. I'll click on Edit again. I'll scroll all the way down. I'll click Add a Field. And I'm going to type in Lead Magnet Image right here. And over here, I'll choose File again but they seem out of order. So in order to change the order, all I need to do is grab it here on the left-hand side, scroll up, I'll come all the way up to where the headline is, the description and the name, and I'll just drop it right underneath the lead magnet name. So that way we have the name, the image, and the headline. And then finally, I'll scroll down and hit save again. The next thing I'll need to do is I'm going to need to add the custom link to the menu in that sub account in order to make this all work. So I'll click on copy custom link. I'll go to the agency side of my high level. I'll click on settings, scroll down and go to custom menu links. I'll hit create new in the top right hand corner. And I'm gonna choose an icon. I'll just choose this wrench for now, but it could be literally anything. It could be whatever represents that you're doing. I'll put in the link name. In this case, I'll call it the content form, and then I'll type in my URL right here. I'll scroll down, I'll make sure I keep it within an iframe. I'll only have it in a sub-account sidebar, and in this case, I wanna choose a very specific sub-account. So I'll type in design client, and then I'll choose who can access this form. I'll just choose all for now, and click save. Now, when I go back to this account and I hit the back button right over here, and I may need to hit refresh, when I scroll down, you'll notice content form on the left-hand side. And there's my content form. I've got my name, my business name, the different colors, the logo, the lead magnet name, all the headlines and the features. But you'll notice the AIs are not in here because they are done on the back end and then brought into the funnel. I'll have my bio information in here. I'll upload my picture. I'll have my email, the YouTube link, and finally my Facebook page. The only thing left to do is actually fill it out. I'll put in my name. I'll put in my business. I'll choose my color. I'm just going to choose two different kinds of blues. Actually, maybe on this one, I'll do a red so that you can see the differences. I'll upload my logo. I'll put in the lead magnet name. I'll put in the image of the lead magnet. And then I'll put in the three features. For now, I'm just gonna add some dummy text for my bio. 
I'll upload my image. I'll put in my email address, the link to my YouTube channel, and finally, the link to my Facebook page. Before I hit save, though, I want to show you what this funnel looks like before the content comes in. So on the left-hand side, I'm going to open up in a new tab, the funnel. Click on the lead magnet with form and use this button to open it up. As you can see, it's right here. There's not much going on. There's just the form. It's green because that's the base color I use. This area is green also. There's no logo. There's no information. It's just a simple, plain funnel with nothing in it. So I'll click back to the form and I'll hit save. And then I'm going to give it just a couple minutes in order for the AI to work in the background. All right, I think I've given it enough time. I'll go back to the funnel and I'll just hit refresh and watch what happens. You'll see that my logo has been added. My color has changed. The image of my lead magnet is right here on the right. I have my headline. It wrote the description. I gave it my feature points and it wrote those descriptions in one sense, just like I asked it to. Remember how here in the overview over here in the description, I said two sentences? Well, there's one and there's two. And then I have my bio and my picture. This built it out completely, adding in the AI content, changing the colors and doing everything for me from a simple, simple form. Let's take a look at all the other pages. I'll go back to the funnel. I'll click on thank you. I'll open that one up. As you can see, the color has changed. It would have normally been green. It has the name of the checklist right here, Smart Goals Checklist. And then I'll go to Appointment Booked. I'll open that guy up. It's changed the color again. If I click on one of these links, like the YouTube channel, I'll go right to my YouTube channel or my Facebook page. I really want you to take a look at what this has created here. It's added the images, it's added the colors, but the AI is real clear. If you have a certain method that you use with all your clients, this is gonna make your job a hell of a lot easier to create content for them. By doing it like this, they just fell out of form and the funnel is built. So we, if you remember correctly, added this headline, turn goals into results, the ultimate smart goals checklist for achievers. And from that prompt, it created achieve your goals with ease using the smart goals checklist, the ultimate guide for turning your aspirations into tangible results. This checklist will help you set specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound goals for success. In each one of these features, it did the same thing also. It added all this information very easily and very simply, all from those easy prompts that we gave it. I could really imagine this being used for a much more detailed funnel, something like a long form sales page or anything that needs a lot of content, even a whole website. This is an amazing addition to the GHL plugin suite of tools. We have very easily created a form the prompts that go along with it and built out content for our funnel in a very simple, easy way. We can even use this for emails or any other type of content that we need to add to our GHL sub accounts. And a really cool feature is anywhere that those values exist in any one of your sub accounts, as long as you add that form, that form is gonna work in all those different sub accounts. So you just have to create the form once and use it with the snapshot again and again and again. I hope you enjoyed this video and you get a chance to use this amazing tool.